Hey everybody, my name is Sarah. I am otherwise known as Playing With Ronald and today I'm going to be walking you through how I set up a brand new Erin Condren Life Planner. I know launch is going on right now so a lot of you guys are picking yours up. I'll put a link in the description to these. I'm going to be setting up a neutral hourly with a rose gold coil. I got a lot of questions last time because I forgot to tell you guys what color coil I have. But it won't matter which layout you get because I'm just setting up the support pages. So whether you're getting a binder or a horizontal, it does not matter. The first thing I do, because I'm going to be honest here, is I do a quality control check. These are hand coiled. They're put together by humans. So occasionally mistakes happen. So the first thing I do is I take a flip through, make sure that everything is in there, every page is in there, and it's not like upside down or printed incorrectly because it's so much easier to correct a mistake before you like get halfway through your planner than to find out next February that you're missing a page. So as you can see, I've already started with my setup. I took this idea from Happy Place Planning and anybody that I mention, I'll link their Instagram in the description as well. And this is my kid's school calendar for next year. I use the Erin Condren transparent dots and they come in a set of three, like pink tones, blue tones, and then these little, if you can see them, let me see if I can get that, the little circle ones. And I like that because you can kind of double up if you have like an event and an early release day. That's kind of how I do that. The next thing I do, and this will kind of be shocking to some of you, is I rip out the stickers. So... I used to keep these in my planner, like on the coil, and I wouldn't remember to use them. I think it's because out of sight, out of mind. And when I'm planning, you know, I'm actually open to a layout. So they would be back here and I would have my stickers, you know, up here. So I started cutting these out a few years ago and just keeping them in a stack. And I noticed that I use them a lot more. So I just added these in here just for the video, but they'll actually go in my sticker stack. Um, but I just rip them out and then I trim them up with a paper cutter. And one, it creates less bulk, but two, I try to use more of what I have. I think we all have experienced going over budget at some time on our planner stash. And I just use a lot more of what I have if it's right in front of me. The next thing I do normally is I rip out coloring pages. I have no use for coloring pages. This year, however, I'm leaving these in for now because on the opposite side of each page is a notes page. I'm going to say with this, I don't know if I'm going to use it. So this page might get ripped out. I'm waiting for people to start getting theirs and setting them up to see if I get inspired from Instagram. If I do take it out, I will probably just snip them along the coil so that if I change my mind in six months and want to add it back in, I can just tack it back in gently. I, I'm, I appreciate the fact that we're now down to two coloring pages. In the past, it's been four. And like I said, I have no use for coloring pages. The next thing I do, again, is rip out more pages. So I rip out all my weekly spreads from July to December of the following year. And I talked about this in my life planner review. I like to have the monthly spreads to plan on. And I believe Erin Condren herself was quoted as saying this past weekend, buy an 18 month planner you plan in it for 12 months and then the six months is for the future. And that's what I do. So I always offer these up on Instagram for people who want to try out a layout. But my tip for you guys is to keep one page for pen testing. That way when you get a new set of pens and you want to see if it bleeds, you don't have to ruin a potential page in your planner. So keep one page for pen testing. Offer the rest up for people, friends, and family that want to try try this layout. I'll post these on Instagram and feel free to piggyback on that post. If you have some that you want to offer up, please feel free to comment and let me know. All right. So now we're back to the front. After I've completely ripped apart my planner. 
The next thing I do is I set these pages up. These stickers are from the most recent Erin Condren monthly sticker book. I believe it's edition five. And I use these boxes very literally. I use them for every month of the year that I'm actively in a planner. Some people use these as um, pictures for their kids or they'll do a weight loss tracker. Um, I've seen some really good ideas in We Love EC. However, for me, I'm a functional planner girl and this is where it's at. These are recurring appointments, reminders that happen every month in this particular month. Like in January, I know I have to register for my kids summer camp. I know that I go to the doctor every February. My husband goes to the dentist every March. I guess every six months. But, you know, it's in March and I guess September. So, when I make my monthly notes page, I refer back to these pages. And I just love these little month stickers. You can get them in several Etsy shops if you don't have the Erin Condren sticker books. There's also, you can also use your old ones um, from past sticker books if you don't use them every year. It's a great way to use, again, what you have. So I went ahead and these were from, I think, edition two. And I went ahead and added these into every month just so I could know what I was working with. Is it necessary? No, but is it pretty? Mm, you know, so that's how I do it. And then I posted this on Instagram. You guys know I am a Christmas freak. I absolutely love Fall, winter, Christmas, everything from September to the end of December, I am 120%. This is Hallmark's Countdown to Christmas, and I'm not embarrassed of this at all. I love the Hallmark Christmas movies. I know they're cheesy. I know they have the same plot line. So help me, if one more person gets amnesia, I'm going to scream. However, I still love it. I look forward to the 24-hour Christmas movies. I'm an insomniac. So it's so nice to wake up at 3 a.m. and have a Christmas movie playing. So I that was my very first sticker that I put down. So I transferred over. You can kind of see sticky notes from things that from the end of last year's planner that I already know are going to be happening. My husband's rain schedule. I know I have a ladies conference to attend to. We have some uh, doctor's appointments going on. Things like that. Um, I did July just kind of for an example. I went ahead and added all of our birthdays and anniversaries, our vacation dates, doctor's appointments, and you can see another Hallmark reminder. I tell you guys, I, I know like some of y'all hate them, but I love me some Hallmark Christmas. I want to talk about this for a minute. The birthdays and anniversaries on the sidebar. This is where I put them since day one. I don't, I have a system that works for me. I'm not going to change that. This is where I like them. I'm leaving them here. What I'm going to do with this is there are birthdays and birthday parties that I don't necessarily track, but I know that my kids are going to go to. So I checked out the last two years worth of planners and I kind of took note of who has a birthday party and when it is. And I added it on a sticky note to this section because while I might not keep up with little Caleb's birthday, I know that my kids are going to be going to his birthday party. We went for the last three years. They have one every year. I would like to budget for that and prepare for that. So I'm going to leave that here. I haven't really decided about my monthly goals. That's going to be like a month at a time decision. And then I know I'm an instructor for on the job trainees now. And um, some of that will affect my work schedule, traveling. So I need to keep up with the dates that I have the new hires versus the dates that they get they go away to be trained and that's kind of what I'm going to use this little box for for the time this page I think I'm going to do a quote or a habit tracker I haven't decided so I haven't put pen to paper yet and then this page will always be my monthly reminders from that page then I'll have a section for the notes and cards that I need to buy and I guess if you don't have this situation going on in your family, you could always do notes and cards that you need to buy here. So, and then, you know, I wanted to talk about this too because I did not touch this at all during my life planner review. 
if you notice, the monthly tab is no longer on the, on the monthly layout. It is on the side of this notes page. I didn't even realize this bugged me until it was gone. And I mean, so they fixed it in a good way for me. Some people, I've already seen your comments, you hate it. For me, I like it because when this little plastic piece was right here, I would have to use a permanent marker to write on it and then switch to my regular pilot. So I like this change. I just used one of these metallic uh, bookmarks because I'm a top tab person anyway. I prefer being able to reach on the top and uh, flip over. So this will help me. And it is not make or break for that to not be there. Actually, I love that not being on this page. So I didn't talk about that in my review. And honestly, I didn't even notice it. And now that I have seen it, I absolutely love it. Is it too soon to set up your like first week? Because I already have. This is a, uh, a sheet that I just bought from Planner Kate. I love her shop. I'm a functional person. She sells, I'm going to have to say this carefully. She sells functional stuff. So I've already kind of started testing out how I would lay out this week. I will be using this for meal planning. Just having it there in front of me reminds me, do I need to stick something in the crock pot for tonight? Do I need to put meat in the fridge to thaw? I'm not a huge, huge fan of this big giant icon. But as you can see, these full boxes cover it up perfectly. And then I can just add like a clear quote over it if I want to, if I don't. But I think I'm going to like this. I mean, I'm... Don't get me wrong, I hate losing my half hour lines. It reminds me of the old school vertical days when you would always put your washi at the bottom and then your meals. So I kind of feel like I get to do that again. So I might not be as unhappy as I thought I was going to be. And then here, wouldn't this be perfect for your weather? If you follow Jen Plans, you know she tracks the weather all the time. I do should and don't <laughs> but in the summer I do more because of where my kids are going to camp and what they need to wear but this would be a perfect spot to track the weather and now you don't have to give up any of this time so I kind of mock you know did a mock setup to see what would work and I have to say I'm not unhappy um, despite my initial misgivings and with the covering up of this big icon you really can make this whatever you want I will say I picked up a colorful at launch just to see it but I've already seen that the colorful boxes are shaded so I do kind of feel like you have to stay in my mind I would have to stay beholden to those colors and this I don't this is completely black and white when I get to do it like this this might be the winner. I don't know yet. You might end up like seeing me with the hybrid. So next we will go to the actual notes page. And we're back. My boss just called and there's nothing more panic inducing than when your boss calls after hours. So I had to hop off here and stop recording really fast. Um, but here we are on the notes page. As you can see, I've not set these up yet because that would be painful for you guys to watch. But we're, we will kind of walk through what I'm going to do. In the past, I'll show you last year's planner. This is what I had. I had a house closing checklist, um, pictures, family fun ideas, date night ideas, and our, our favorite meals. And monthly tasks, all of us, uh, I think, jumped on this when Jen Plans posted this. And um, as you can see, I haven't really, I, I, I kind of slacked off this last month. But And I'll probably still do this again. I love this idea of making me track, you know, little things that I need to do. This, however, what you'll see, this is from actually maybe three planners ago I made this page. And... If I'm really, really careful with it, you can see that it's like just in really good shape. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus on it. There we go. So you can see um, I just snip these at the coil and then I just take like 
a pen and just kind of pop them in my my new coil and that saves me from having to rewrite the same sheet over and over and over and over and I'll add to it as if we get more favorite meals or if we have um, like on the other side is date night ideas um, our fifth 15th anniversary is coming up. I can't believe it. And he's trying to plan something big. Um, other than that, it's usually like dinner and a movie. But even if it's... We did go zip lining one time and that was fun. But um, I think we might try like to go whitewater rafting for our um, 15th anniversary. I don't know. That would kind of be a fun thing. We like to do things. Not necessarily like just go and shop. Um, we see Chili's and Hobby Lobby. That was actually literally a date of mine. We didn't have a Hobby Lobby. And if you know me, Chili's is my absolute favorite restaurant. And we don't have one of those either. But up in West Virginia, they have them like back to back in the same shopping center. So we literally took a day off and went up and had lunch at Chili's and went to Hobby Lobby. He's good to me. He's good to me like that. So I will transfer over the, the family fun ideas will go here and these are it's very similar to date night it's just different things that we try to do as a family some are free some do cost but simple simple things like going to the local minor league baseball teams those are always a fun thing for us to do taking my kids on different hikes so I have a goal for us to get through a lot of these things throughout the year especially on Saturdays in the summer we're pretty free usually uh, these two pages, I'll probably leave blank for the time being. I didn't actually need as many notes pages last year as I did in past years. Jen Plans, again, has some great ideas on hers, how she uses hers. I don't know. That's going to be, these two might be blank at the end of this year. I always save two of these dot grid pages for quotes. I'm a quotes junkie, if you know me. Last, last year, I had a theme. Um, I kept track of my favorite quotes from literature that I loved. Um, sometimes I don't do themes. I just do the absolute favorite quotes that I have. I don't know if I'm going to do a theme or not, but I always save two for quotes. I can just about always go back and figure out what I was going through at the time that that quote hit me. So it's a little bit of like a private journal in a way. And then this page will be the monthly task. Yeah, I'll transfer over... Um, our, our monthly reminders, everything that I need to do every month. Change the air, air filter, purge the kids' clothing, things like that. This page, I've decided I'm going to keep track of all of our doctors and doctor's information on. Um, I have several doctors. The kids have several doctors. Most of you guys know my youngest was born with hip dysplasia. So she has a whole world of doctors um, different from the rest of us. And um, I thought this would be a great place to keep up with those doctors and all the numbers. And especially because this planner stays at home on my desk 24-7. So if my husband needs to be able to refer to something, I can say, hey, go look to, at the contacts page. This is the doctor and this is who you need to call. The last thing that I wanted to talk about was usually on my first page that has the actual notes tab, I keep track of a house closing checklist. And as you see, this was just cut out from last year too. So I'm not going to do that again this year because if you saw my Instagram story, I'm going to be using this checklist for that. And this goes in a travel uh, notebook that I just wanted. It was on sale like 20% off something and I ended up having like $10 off. So I got it really, really inexpensive. But this kind of bugged me because it didn't have 12 lines. And I thought, you know, a 12-line one would, be, would have been perfect to use for budgeting. But instead, I am going to do this because this way I can actually check off the things that I need to do every time. Whereas before, with just the list, it was just okay. I looked at the list and would go do it. But we have several trips already planned for the year and so I just put our list of our reminders, our things that we go off before we leave the house. Things like um, make sure to toss out all the perishable food. We change the sheets if we're having a house sitter so that they can sleep and clean sheets. Um, change the thermostats. This is always a funny thing that I get asked about, the guns in and out. Um, my husband's a police officer. I also have a concealed weapons permit 
And so I always have to check the laws of, of the states that we're going to to see if they recognize my permit. But change the cat litter, things like that. And then this way I can just list, you know, the trip that we're taking and go down the checklist. So that's how I'm going to be using that page. So that actually frees up another notes page. And it also, if you want this, this is the checklist snap in dashboard and I'll link it in the description. But that's a peek at how I'm setting up my planner. Um, if you have any great ideas or comments, please let me know. I'm always looking for ways to make it even more functional. I do love this product. Obviously I've been a fan and a user for so many years and that it works for me, but if I can make it even work better, I'm always a, in favor of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I think my next video is going to be um, a preview of the teacher planner. A little birdie uh, said I might be getting one of those. Stay tuned for that.